Will, congratulations. Um, a century on your debut um, when you first arrived here. Did you expect that kind of result on day two? Um, I didn't really have any expectations, to be fair. It's, um, it's been a, an amazing opportunity to, to come over for a short stint with, with Knotts. And um, yeah, we, I knew going in, big game against Surrey first up, and you know to have the opportunity to play here at the Oval is pretty special. So yeah, stoked to come over with 100 today. Well, you were stuck on 95, 96 for a little bit, and I think tension was perhaps growing in, in that regard. Um, you know, what, what was going through your mind in those couple of overs where you're sort of waiting for that opportunity to, to pounce and get that 100? It's funny, I was probably stuck on a different number plenty of other times, so I tried not to think about it too much. Um, it was a, an interesting sort of phase of the, of, of the game. Um, we were losing a couple of wickets at the other end, so I was more focused on just get batting and, and getting through to the end of the day and, and, and trying to be as less, down, as, as less wickets down as possible. So I think it's sort of even Stevens and, and, and another big day tomorrow, to hopefully to get close to Surrey's score and um, yeah, take it to the, to the second innings. Cast your mind back to, to yesterday, we had the perfect start with a wicket on the second ball and then again today it seemed to be in similar fashion, you know, in the, in the fourth over of the day, um, LJ getting getting two wickets and two balls, um, you know, did that have um, a positive psychological impact on the team for, for the rest of the day, it set you up nicely? Yeah, look, LJ thoroughly deserved his, his first first class five, it was awesome to watch, he, he came in and he was under a bit of pressure to be fair with some bowlers going down around him, so... He, uh, he took it on in his stride and, and, and bowled fantastically well the whole time. You know, there was plays and misses, there was edges that didn't go to hand as well as the six that he got. So he bowled beautifully. Um, yeah, and then this morning to get those two wickets pretty pretty quickly was key. And, and yeah, we were just looking to bat, um, bat the day really and, and see where, where we were at the end. And, and thankfully we, we've got to a position where we're, we're pretty happy. Of course, yeah, LJ was the, the star of the show from the, the bowling perspective and it was part of uh, a cohort of three really with, with Calvin and Dane as well chipping in uh, with some really important bowling performances yesterday. So fr from a batting perspective, you know, how um, how important was that to you that y you could see that Surrey were being being limited in their in their run scoring despite the circumstances they were under and that set you up nicely for, for the following day mm. um, with the bat? Mm. Yeah, I think when you lose um, a couple of bowlers, you know, things can get out of hand pretty quickly. But the way Calvin stepped up um, bowling in the first innings as a leg spinner, um, you know, without foot marks, anything, it was, you know, amazing control for a leg spinner. So he out held up one end really well and, and we, we chipped in. We sort of, we, we didn't take that new ball straight away. We, we held off to, to get um, one spell out of the boys at the end of the day and, and that proved um, the right option too because we got a couple of wickets. So, yeah, I mean, we just sort of, grafted away throughout the day and, and picked up wickets at key moments, obviously that one early in the day. We also picked up three right before lunch, which again was a really important part of the day. So yeah, I think um, yeah, it makes for an exciting day three tomorrow to, to come and, and keep grafting just like we have been these first two days. Halfway through the contest, it feels very finely poised. Um, you couldn't really make a guess at how this is going to turn in the, in the next two days. You know, what, what, what are the thoughts within the, within the team right now? Um, you know, how are we going to approach these next two days? Just as I said before, if we can, we can approach the game without looking too far ahead, you know, break it down <coughs> into small chunks and do um, what we have been the last couple of uh, the first couple of days just just graft away um, you know hang in there in, in first class cricket it rewards consistency of lo a long period of time so we'll keep doing our bits and um, yeah show up tomorrow with a whole lot of energy and enjoy the challenge I suppose we should also make a mention to your partnership with uh, Hasib as well um, a really important second wicket for the side um, you know how important is it to, to make sure you're building those partnerships throughout the innings to, to reach that important total mm -hmm. It was amazing to bat with Huss. I've seen him on TV batting for England um, for a long time. I remember when he made his debut, he was yeah, a serious watch. And um, yeah, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed meeting him and he's, he's skippered the boys really well this game too. So to share a, a, a meaningful partnership with him was, was really special. Um, felt from a bit um, getting out the way he did after doing so much hard work and looking so good, but that's cricket, isn't it? So um, yeah, no, it, was, it was awesome to bat with Huss. Congratulations again, well done. Thanks very much.